Hello, I'm just doing a quick tutorial on Tractor Pro and setting up um, advanced MIDI controlling um, LEDs or LEDs within any MIDI controller really. Um, this one I'm showing at the moment is um, it's a Newmark Total Control working in conjunction with Tractor and I'll be setting up to show you basic, uh, well more advanced settings of um, how to get LEDs working within like a dB meter and getting your mixer uh, master out levels as well to visually show. Um, you can do this with pretty much any controller um, that has LEDs. Um, I'll also be putting this um, this TSI up um, for download so you can have a go at messing around with that one yourself. Um, so read the video description for that and um, there'll be more information in there. But I probably won't be able to put in this if I forget. Okay so um, what I'll do is I'll basically show you um, a little sample here now. Um, and then I'll show you how to recreate it. Okay, so um, if we go into Tractor Pro now, um, I'll basically show you how to set that up. Okay, so I'll be showing you how to do that um, very simple dB meter. Um, so what we'll need uh, is we need to go into our options menu within Tractor. Um, and then we'll bring up the preferences. We come down to controller manager. Um, and then we want to get a new device. So all we do is um, add, add generic MIDI. And that'll bring up a clean panel. Select the in and outputs uh, ports uh, for your controller. Preferably the output would be the best. Um, and then for what we need is this. Um, we need outputs. And what we want our lights to correspond with is the outputs um, for our decks um, and the master level as well. So we'll just set up um, these three lights here and we'll correspond those with just a simple output of the two decks together. So once we've done that we want to select our MIDI note that we want to um, for our light and I know that it is 3 which is G3 so channel 1 G3 is there um, and what we might have problems with is this controller range um, for the MIDI options at the bottom. This is where um, all all the um, um, the settings take place. Really, um, our maximum for our lowest one will be 0 0.3 or 0 0.4. Doesn't really matter. Um, and then we go up in steps of increments from there. Um, for our MIDI range, this is another one we'll need to look at. Um, we need to set this to I usually set it to two, which works well. Sometimes it works on one um, for our maximum. But yeah, so um, now once we play, we should get lights. Okay, so um, now we've got that last light set up, we'll need to add uh, two other lights. So all we need to do is duplicate these two, um, and this will be our middle light, and this will be our top light. So for this one we need to set our LED that we want, and I know this is F sharp 3, at least I think so, uh, yep yeah, that's correct. Um, and for this section here we need to worry about these MIDI options, these LED options. For our maximum we always, always need to set as one um, depending, uh, unless it's our first light, our lowest level light, then we need to set our maximum 
there. Um, and for this here, our minimum, um, this is anything above this, it will be triggered. Anything below it won't be triggered. So I'll just put four as our next step. Um, and always, if these go wrong, one and two, um, change maximum to one or two, depending if it's not working with the default settings. Okay, so for our next one, we'll just do the same again. Um, we'll find our MIDI note, which is uh, F3. Um, for our minimum range, we'll go up a few steps. So, so that was minus, that was 0.4, so we go 0.6. And our maximum of one. And there we go, we have set up three lights to go for our master output and that should be working in conjunction with our light and our track now.